You are never alone. God is on the journey too. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this Casa Day where the current is now streaming and flowing from the portal of the Casa de Don Ignacio, the house of love where the medicine is love, directly into our open hearts, connecting us one family, wrapping around the globe in this sacred moment and we have another gorgeous day here a little overcast but we can still see the deep blue skies reminding us of the color of the casa and the color of our mantle of our divine mother mary her love and protection and there's quite a few fluffy white clouds just drifting slowly by changing the skyscape always reminding us that all things are impermanent, all things pass, and we are just travellers here on Earth. And we're being held in this majestic high vibration of Mother Earth, so much abundance and lots of activity with all the array of zoos, the big huge birds and the toucans flying everywhere. And I didn't see the monkeys recently, but they're gorgeous also and they're very much active. And there's flowers everywhere of all colours and fragrances. So we are being held in the love of our Divine Mother Earth. So wherever you are in the world, relax if you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from the center of our being, our hearts joining us together in unison, one family right across the world. 
right here, right now. And put a glass of water beside you. This is blessed when we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is totally necessary for this divine connection, the best sight is insight. We leave the material world behind, opening our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances, all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're much more than we could ever imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirit. And we are definitely not alone, totally supported by these extraordinary CASA entities 24-7 as we reach out today and go on a voyage of discovery with our beautiful, compassionate, gorgeous, high vibration of this amazing incorporated entity of the CASA. Dr. Jose Valdivino, who many of us know very well and love and we are reminded of our different incarnations right down through the ages as dr jose valdivino told us that he was a legal judge a doctor and a surgeon in different past lives and dr van Davino's energy is especially powerful for healing wheelchair users and so many miraculous healings have been recorded. When Dr. Valdivino has commanded a paraplegic to walk or move their affected limbs. And I remember dodging a lot of crutches as he used to throw them around the place a lot. And wheelchairs were discarded on the spot when he is present. Healings occur with just the command and touch of his hand. He is extremely gentle, overtly compassionate and very considerate towards everyone he treats. And those of us may remember, he was the one who put his hand out, reaching out to us. And there was such great comfort in touching the hand of Dr. Jose Valdivino. He had a soft and loving energy and he changes the energy of all of us through pure love. And he encourages us to cleanse our souls through a constant state of prayer by forgiving others and asking to be forgiven. The teachings of the Christ consciousness. He is such a huge influence on the high vibration of the Kaza. He cautions us never to expect love in return, to surrender all expectations and to give because we want to give, not expecting anything in return. And he is always present to us 24 seven as we reach out to him and ask him, particularly now in these challenging times on earth where there seems to be so much lack of love and forgiveness, to lead us on the right path, to help us in these difficult days on earth, to find that peace within, the peace beyond all understanding, the peace of God, and to multiply and amplify and send out this peace to all war zones on earth. And particularly now to the Ukraine. This has gone on long enough. Our love can change anything. And to penetrate the minds and the hearts of the warmongers, to help them to change to let go, to realize that we're all divine beings, interconnected, all part of the same shining web. The God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. And as we honor Dr. Jose Valdivino, who is always with us, 
and the teachings of the Christ consciousness. We are reminded that our brother Jesus told us that when two or more are called in his name, he will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth. And as we navigate these chaotic times where nothing seems straight, May we try to see with the eyes of Christ, never see a need without doing something about it and just do the best we can and not give ourselves a hard time when we don't step up. This is crucial. We are experiencing growing pains as we shift dimensions. So it's not an easy time to be on earth. And Jesus gave us beautiful gift, bestowing upon his 12 apostles, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that has come down to us through the ages, teaching us how to pray, how to surrender to the will of God, how to forgive ourselves, forgive our brothers and sisters, and to embrace this gift of life, this amazing, miraculous gift of creation that we have been given. as we journey on together through thick and thin. And today we say the Lord's Prayer, translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus and Mary. O cosmic birther of all radiance and vibration, Soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our desires. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglement of past errors. Do not let us be seduced by that which will divert us from our true purpose. Rather, Illuminate the opportunities of this present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth power and fulfillment as all is gathered and made whole once again. And so be it. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. Just like Don Ignacio, Dr. Jose Valdivino had a great reverence and trust in our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of all the Saints. We ask our Divine Mother in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these darker times on earth as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the light, the compassion, the tranquility, the love, the forgiveness, the faith, the hope, the patience, the humility, the gratitude, the joy, the abundance, deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings helping us all carry it and disincarn it on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Our mother, whose body is the earth, sacred is thy being. Thy gardens grow, thy will be done in our cities as it is in nature. Thanks be this day for food, air and water. 
Forgive us our sins against the earth as we are learning to forgive one another. And surrender us not into extinction. Rather, deliver us from our folly. For thine is the beauty and the power and all life from birth to death, from beginning to end. And so be it forever. Blessed be. Amen.
For those who believe, no words are necessary. For those who do not believe, no amount of words are sufficient. These words of Tom Ignacio are right in the centre of the casa under the bust of the highest vibration of Tom Ignacio. And there is another picture you may remember, some of you, in the casa on the walls. They kept moving the pictures to keep us on our toes and it ended up in the operations room and I believe it's still there to this day of the entity Dr. Jose Valdivino so fully incorporated into Medium to Rao's body that Medium to Rao's body is almost completely overshadowed by the entity. I actually have that picture and have used it in these meditations. And Jose Valdivino was Moreno, a little darker skinned. And it's a phenomenal picture because it was taken before digital cameras. And it just shows us, it gives us a glimpse into what is actually going on beyond the veil. And every so often the entities allow us to see their power. And with this phenomenally high vibration here at the Casa and this dimensional shift, we have already upshifted here in Abhijania. So the energy is really very hard to describe. It's astonishingly high. And the beauty of this is that the entities never, ever stop working with us. And Dr. Jose Valdivino, not only is he absolutely gorgeous and compassionate and loving, and he referred to himself particularly as the protector of families. And he's very helpful in dealing with family issues, which we all have. And it's interesting because many of us have come to the casa through lack of forgiveness of our family members and we find it hard to forgive our brothers and sisters. And of course, we have the casa family. We are all part of different families and yet we are all the same. We are brothers and sisters in the light and we're all children of God. And today, let's just take a little time out and honour the children of the world who are under a lot of pressure right now, many of them in slavery and being abused. And also, it's hard for them with this onslaught of social media to really um, have the upbringing that many of us had. Uh, their childhood has been taken away from them. So, we also honour our inner child that we often forget to nourish. So through the power of Dr. Jose Valdivino, today in particular, let's just take this time out and honour the children of the world, our inner child, and recognise ourselves as ch children of God. A life in our hands. If children live with criticism, they learn to condemn. If children live with hostility, they learn to fight. If children live with fear, they learn to be apprehensive. If children live with pity, they learn to feel sorry for themselves. If children live with ridicule, they learn to feel shy. If children live with jealousy, they learn to feel envy. If children live with shame, they learn to feel guilty. 
If children live with encouragement, they learn confidence. If children live with tolerance, they learn patience. If children live with praise, they learn to appreciate. If children live with acceptance, they learn to love. If children live with approval, they learn to like themselves. If children live with recognition, they learn that it's good to have a goal. If children live with sharing, they learn generosity. If children live with honesty, they learn to value the truth. If children live with fairness, they learn justice. If children live with kindness and consideration, they learn respect. If children live with security, they learn to have faith in themselves and in those around them. If children live with friendliness, they learn to find love in the world. Let us lead by example. Just as Dom Ignacio did, and as Jose Valdivino teaches us, to be kind and compassionate and loving and forgiving. To realize that children are the future and to never ever forget that we are all children of God. Amen.
Love is the only prayer. And this amazing energy of our brother, Dr. Jose Valdivino, who works particularly with those who are challenged with their walking, wheelchair users, anybody with back problems, leg problems, and on top of all this, the protector of families, and we're all part of some family. And we're children of God. And time and time again, Dr. Jose Valdivino reminds us and encourages us always to cleanse our souls to a constant state of prayer. In particular, for loving ourselves, loving our brothers and sisters, forgiving ourselves and asking to be forgiven. To forgive everyone, everything, the teachings of the Christ consciousness, which is an integral part of the work of the Casa de Dominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. We open all the work with prayer. And we don't know by what methods rare, but this we know. God answers prayer. And we can pray anywhere, anytime. Because when we pray, we open up a relationship, a dialogue with our Creator. It's a two way street. God never abandons us, He's always listening to us. 
and answering our prayers, giving us what we need. And what we think we need and what we actually need are usually poles apart. So there is a surrendering going on. And thank you is a prayer. If it's the only prayer we ever say in our lives, it is sufficient. Help me is a prayer. And of course, on the walls of the chasm, one of the first things you see is the sign, silence is a prayer. So there's so many different ways to prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, God speaks to us. God speaks vibration. And God speaks to us always and in all ways. The answers to our prayers come in different forms, always and everywhere. And prayer is the spark that ignites us on our healing journey back home into the celestial fields. By praying, we learn to pray. Why worry when you can pray? Worrying is only praying for what you don't want. So let's change this vibration in an instant and really put our hearts and souls into asking God Almighty to help us all, carnage and disincarnate, to navigate through this very challenging time now on earth. These lessons that we're learning in the school of life are creating a space for us to ask God more and more for help, to pray in whatever way we feel comfortable with. It doesn't have to be a long winded tirade. And of course, we don't need to have a doctrine or a creed. God does not discriminate against any of his children. So let us consider this highest of vibrations of prayer, that in particular, Jose Valdivino encourages us to surrender anything and everything that no longer serves us when we pray, to love, to forgive all unconditionally and to let go of the past, to be present and to embrace a bright new future, a new world. The shift is already on. Once a man was asked, what did you gain by regularly praying to God? The man replied, nothing as far as I know. But let me tell you what I lost. I lost anger. Greed, ego, depression, hatred, insecurity, ingratitude, lack of forgiveness, lack of love, and fear of death. Sometimes the answers to our prayers is not gaining, but losing, which ultimately is the gain. God moves in mysterious ways. Pray without ceasing. Love is the only prayer. Amen.
and as we enjoy this gorgeous high vibration that many of us are so familiar with. It's an gorgeous entity of the Casa de Dominacio, Dr. Jose Valdivino. Let us relax into our physical bodies now and be open to receive. As you give, so it be given you. Keeping your eyes closed to the end of the work. And in our mind's eye, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa, or any place of sacred running water that you know, with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. The move is on. Painful endings are bright new beginnings as we let go of the past and embrace this whole new world of love light. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time right here, right now on earth that we need to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. Anything that's stopping us from stepping into our power, our very essence, which is love light. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal depressed, desolate, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, frustrated, angry, homeless. Everyone deserves a roof over their heads. There's plenty to go around. The children of the world, they're innocent. They don't need to suffer. Jose Valdivino always puts a spotlight on the suffering of children. This is intolerable. They are the future. And we're all children of God. Anyone who is languishing in migrant camps, they need to be liberated now. We're all equal, no difference. All part of the same shining web. In this together. Anyone who's at the mercy of extreme weather, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's just take a moment now and ask God for the peace in our hearts. Beyond all understanding, peace begins within us and grows from there. And we ask this peace pour from our hearts into all war zones, anywhere there's suffering, particularly now into the Ukraine and into the minds of the warmongers. They too need to wake up to their divine essence. And let's bring medium Joao into this high vibration and anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this miraculous high vibration pouring from the portal of the casa in through our crown chakras, really feel these crystal clear waters now from the cashmere penetrating deep, deep into our souls, taking away all miasmas, all discomfort, disease, disharmony in all of our bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, anything, everything that is not from the light. Letting go, surrendering, receiving this highest of vibrations, this new energy, strengthening us, nourishing us, helping us to go forward in love, Prayer, light, joy, peace, forgiveness. As we emerge cleansed, healed, renewed, refreshed, reborn into the light, the core of our being, standing, smiling, sparkling, happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends and new friends. No more grudges. 
We need to upshift now. Let go. Surrender. As we work our way out of sickness into well-being, out of poverty into abundance, out of fear into trust, out of darkness into the light, out of war into peace, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Amen.
And as we bask and rejoice in this highest of vibrations now, receiving this phenomenally high cleansing healing energy from the portal of the casa directly into our open hearts, we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness, one family under the banner of the Casa de Domenici, or the House of Love, where the medicine is love. As we are open to give and receive, to live by faith and not by sight, to know that we have come through lifetimes to this very moment, and the entities teach us that they too had human bodies and we move in and out of perishable bodies and we have an expiration date so let's just do the best we can here on earth and realize that life is oh so short and thank you god for sending all of your messages of love so many angels archangels guardian angels unseen beings elevated spirits and these phenomenal entities of light and love so many from all backgrounds all creeds all colors all belief systems they walk the earth like we did and we're challenged like we are and go through the dark night of the soul just like us and they're with us every step of this journey as we celebrate and rejoice today with our beautiful brother dr jose valdivino an incorporated entity of the casa who works with many of our brothers and sisters who are wheelchair users, anyone with back problems, sciatica, leg problems, and of course, the protector of families. And we're all from some sort of a family, big or small, brothers and sisters in the light, children of God. So we are in great hands as we get to know our brothers and sisters beyond the veil who are there for us 24-7. And thank you, God, for sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, the light of the world, all of the Christ consciousness, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up, to realise that we are being tested, and there's lessons to learn down here in the school of life. And they're not easy right now. And we have so much unseen help, helping hands, heaven's helpers. And a lesson will be repeated until it's learned. And we don't want to have to come back for lifetimes to learn the same lesson. And when our earthly lives are over, the lessons are learned and school is out. We will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again coming together in this sacred hour or so, to come together in prayer and appreciation. Thank you for your commitment your courage, and it takes guts to walk this path. This dedication is necessary. We are all pilgrims together, walking each other home. Thank you for your faith, your hope, your patience, your humility, your true grit, your love and your light to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God love and service written on the walls of the entities room in Portuguese and English to remind us of how to navigate these challenging times, the motto of the Jesuits. God is with us. God is on the journey too. We are not alone. Faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around us. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up, warriors of the light, soldiers of the Christ consciousness. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Never see a need without doing something about it. Try to see with the eyes of Christ. He is with us. We rise by lifting others. 
Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. We have nothing to fear. Choose love in each and every moment. Fear is the thief of our peace. Choose love. It's only a choice between love and fear. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, joyfully, happily, trusting me, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in always, as we surrender to the will of God. Thy will be done, not my will. And in the spirit of Don Ignacio and our brother, Dr. Jose Valdivino, an amazing incorporated entity of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, so compassionate, so loving, so gentle. They had a amazing devotion to our Divine Mother Mary and placed all their trust in her sacred heart. Let us pray. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, the light of the world. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And so be it. Amen. Love, loving, love.